Hi and welcome back. Park to Legend, here we are, episode 3, Club 2. Yes, we're here with Norwich City now. As some of you might already know, if you haven't, please do go back and watch the first couple of episodes of Club 2. And it's been an unbelievable start to this journey, I say you could call it. But please do, if you like that sort of thing, get up there. Get the subscriptions in. Get the notifications in. Ring that bell and likes down below, please. Thumbs up. Massive big thumbs up. That's what we require. And let's go and have a look at what we've been doing in those first few weeks, a couple of months. Let's have a look, shall we? As we knew, we had quite a bit of money. And we've brought in a lot of money. I tell you what, it's been a struggle spending it. It's been fun, <laughs> I can say that. It's been fun spending it. So where did we get to? Um, Chris Wood has gone out to Basel for nearly a million pounds. A couple of youngsters. Ibrahim Sissoko has gone to 1.1 million pounds. Matt Lowton's gone out on loan to Salford. Joe Bryan, one of our regular starters at the time, £5 million to West Brom. Mick Abiraf's gone on loan. Gibbs, yeah, some more youngsters here have gone just for a bit of money, really. A big blow. Ennis Unal has gone to Brentford for £17 million. He came to us, he requested to leave. He said, what have I got to do to move? I said, well, I don't want to lose you. It was all that jazz. We said, well, how much? And that was the fee we agreed. And he's gone, unfortunately. Varane gone out on loan. Duffy. Yeah, so we brought in quite a lot of money. £58 million in total over that period. Um, considering, I think... I think there was only about £5 million, £6 million that actually was brought in by anyone else. So we brought in over £50 million quid. Now, as we know, there was already players brought in. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven million of that. So we've spent £90 million quid. <laughs> but we have had some great fun in this in doing so. Um we saw Ballard and Javi Simons. Harry Winks. A 28-year-old Harry Winks. Just mind-blowing. Managed to secure his services. 80 grand a week. We need Premier League football. We're spending crazy amounts of money. But we'll have to see. Have we done Winks? I don't, I don't know if we've done Winks already. I, it feels like a month ago that I did my last video. It wasn't that long, but it just feels that way. Um, let me just check something in a minute. Yes, we've already done Kyle George, Fujimoto and Rodak. We've already uh, done that because we was in that previous game period. Southampton, where are you? Southampton. Which was on the... 24th, no, 13th. So those boys are already sorted, so we know about them. Don't want to go over old ground, but they're great signings. Winks, Kyo George, Rodak, Fujimoto, not quite so much yet. Ma just realised I had my extra camera on. <laughs> I just spotted it. Corner of my eye. What the hell am I doing down there? Yes, there I am. Hello. Hello down there. Hello to you. Hello to you. Hello to you. Yes. Mohamed Dahoud comes in from Borussia Dortmund for £13 million. He spent a lot of time over in Germany. And he is an absolute beast, hopefully, for us. To play in that deep line playmaker, roaming playmaker role at the base. 
with the first touch, his dribbling, passing, vision, work rate, teamwork, technique, and a bit of agility, just to mix it in there for us. De Hood, I think, is going to be an absolute superstar for us. £13 million, he's already doubled that in his current value. Calvin Ramsey of now Liverpool, yes, but we've got him before he even went that far. So from Aberdeen, £15.25 million. Pounds. Oh, yes. This lad, complete wing back, or wing back on attack, or full back on attack. He just wants to get forward. And he's already developing. I am very happy with this signing. Six Scottish caps as well. A cracking signing for us as well. And after a couple of these older boys, the um, dynamics was like, whoa, you're meant to be, or should I say club vision, you're meant to be signing young players under 23. Yeah, 28. <laughs> 28, yeah. You get the gist. Too many old players coming in. So we managed to go out and sign some younger ones. Tommy Doyle. He's actually got... Um, Who's that? Hang on, it's got me thinking. It's not Man City, because that's where we got him for. Man City for four million pounds. That's HSV, isn't it, over in Germany? Um, comes in as a cracking Mazala. Something that we needed. Something that's just going to add that bit to us. English player again, four million pounds. Already up to fourteen million. <sighs> plenty of plenty of potential with this lad and. Just really happy to get him on board. Juan Carlos Lanzana. Lan Landa Landers Landa Landazera? Something like that. Five star potential. Three star current ability. Comes in from Boca. Five million pounds. He's a false nine. <laughs> we do love a false nine with the way we was playing with Torquay, so. Hopefully this lad will fit in beautifully once he gets a little bit older and all. 19 years old. Yes, he's not going to make it as homegrown, unfortunately. But very, very good potential. And again, falls into that bracket of they wanted some young players. It's fine. Eric Martel comes in as a, a German six foot two. Central defender, ball playing central defender or wide centre back. Six point five million pounds from Leipzig. Very, very handy player indeed. Ball playing look thirteen for passing. Again, loads of potential. Could do with getting him sorting out his uh just jumping and all. I think that's probably one we need to do, which I think is strength. There we go. So a bit of strength and jumping. Six foot two, should be doing better than 13 in my eyes, but lots of potential. Again, four star potential, three star current ability. Dennis Kirkin comes in as a new left back. Again, four star potential, three star current ability. Can play as a complete wing back on support, wing back, full back on attack. Again, another one who's just. Bags of potential, loads and loads of ability to get flying up and down that left-hand side. We're having him to be a complete wing-back on support. So we've got Calvin one side and we've got Dennis on the other. He was 7.25 from Sunderland. Met his release clause. One Manuel Eust. Five star potential, one and a half star current ability. This lad came in from Real Hespicil for £2.8 million. Already again doubled that in his value. Can play on the wing. <coughs> We're going to play him or train him as a false nine. Finishing a six. Okay, <laughs> hold my hands up. As a false nine, he should be dropping and doing killer balls, like it says there. He's already got the trait. Big potential, big potential again. If this lad can develop, we could be on to a real winner. 
And the final one. Kwebana Aduka comes in from Fulham for, I think it was 18.25 million pounds. He is 18 years old. He is six foot two. He is already developing. He's only been here um, not even a month yet. Five star potential, two star current ability, stamina. <laughs> it just it, yeah, he's not he's not got the best acceleration. But look at the state of this lad. He's 18 years old. He said he wanted to go out on loan. Oh no. You are staying around, son. We are going to develop you in-house as a halfback to play in that beautiful little role. We're going to get everything developing. We've got his passing going. We're going to try and develop that. And this lad has got... I'm excited. Look at the state of him. He's two-star and he's got five-star potential. So if he develops, what the hell is he going to look like? I'm very, very happy. Right, we've waffled on quite a bit because we got through a transfer window. So we're just going to do one game today, which will be, we should be around the Blackburn, Derby sort of area. We'll do Blackburn and then we'll tell you how we got on against Derby in a little off-camera bit. Yes, so here we are for the Blackburn game. We are home. And we'll just run through where we are as well actually we haven't done that either that's another bit we've missed my goodness me we're getting way ahead of ourselves how's our form been um yes so we played blackburn uh, blackpool sorry 4-1 victory ida and tollet toss tollis we're just going to say tollis it's better we then went to extra time with southampton we lost that 3-2 silky and simons with the goal in that we then got taken down a peg or two. <laughs> Bournemouth absolutely battered us. 4-1. Doyle got his goal, but look at that. Look, sixes, sixes. It was a seven with Doyle, but we just weren't at the races. We then had a little chat, and we turned it round straight away. Reading, 3-0 victory. Ida with two goals. And Tollis again. So that was nice. Was then the turn of Peterborough. Beat them 1-0. Kyle George got the goal in this one. Then Nottingham Forest 2-1 victory. Adam Ida, both goals. Cracking performance in this game. And then the last time out was against Hull City. A 2 all draw. Javi Simons with both the goals in this game. Yeah, we didn't play all that well. So, on to today's game. Rodak in goal, Ramsey, Omi, Ballard, Sir Sirkin, Dahoud, Doyle, Simons, Winks, Ida and Kayo George up top. Igo is out injured. He's still out injured for quite a while yet, I think. On oh, no, another week. That's not too bad. Um Yeah, we're sort of we're in between at the moment with some of these players. Caladuna and um, I almost want to just send him back, but I, I can't. So we're stuck with him. So, right, let's go and play Blackburn. Um, Yeah, uh, we could fall out of the playoffs if we lose here. So go out there and impress me. I don't like that about we're favourites. We've got no reason to be favourites at the moment. Kirkin is impressed with that. So, OK. We're, we're sort of we'll go with that for a minute in fact we'll go to a positive mentality and it's Blackburn with the first highlight but it's Ballard who brings the ball out out of the air beautifully Omi to Ballard Captain Ballard Harry Winks now Kirkin back to Ballard lovely football Ida into Kyle George and the keeper Kaminsky saves it ooh we have got a lot of fans in today, and there is a goal. Kirkin with the goal. Oh, my word. That's what we like to see. That there is absolutely cracking header. 
beautiful, beautiful goal. Thank you very much. Right, five minutes in, positive start. That is very positive. Now, can we... They've picked up an early yellow card, 13 minutes gone. Doyle now swings it in, hits the bar. Should have been two. That is a big, big chance gone. Oh, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Right. 22 minutes gone. Let's just drop back to a balanced mentality for the last 20 minutes of this half. We don't want to go too gunno. Ida's on a 6.7, 6.6-ish. Ramsey, 6.5. Needs to up his game there a bit. Ballard again, starting things from the back. Winks. Kyle George. He was pulled back, was he? <gasps> Omi lets him in. But what a save by Rodak. It looked like Kyle George had been pulled back by um, Diraki, who has been booked. And what's going on here now? Kyle George has been suffering from the fractured finger. Um, but he should be able to play through it. Well, we'll see how he gets on. He's still looking fit. I suppose, if, yeah, your finger... It will hurt, but <laughs> it's, it's not going to stop him running, is it? Dolan now coming through the midfield. Asprilia. Ball's out wide. Ball in. Dolan card. Oh, uh, Dohard with a cracking challenge. I've got to get used to these new names. Oh, what a goal that is. By Rio Hatter. Oof. See that from the other angle. Travis into Dolan, back to Travis, digs out the cross on the left foot volley. He absolutely smashed that into the back of the net. Um, bit of encouragement, a couple minutes to go for the half. And maybe get up to the positive mentality, ready for the start of the second half. They've had 10 shots, we've had 6, we've had 4 on target. Yeah, I'm not happy with the performance, let's go with it. And it's a highlight to start the game for the second half for Blackburn. This is not what we like to see. A kickoff highlight normally results in something. I'm not going to say a goal because you don't know, but Archer has <sighs> scored from the kickoff. 2 1 down. That is not how we want to start this half. Um, a bit of aberration, I think. Ramsey now to Ida. Dolan. Well, Doyle, sorry. Dolan, I've got Dolan on the brain now. Omi into Dahoud. Adam Ida. Ida to Doyle. Kyle George. Hasn't got his shooting boots on today. And he has got that broken finger or whatever's going on with the lad. Um, Levels, levels. Adam Ida is not playing very well. Let's get Tol is on and I think Ballard now to Winks to Simons Doyle I'm going to have to get his name right we've got to sort that Omi out to Ramsey Doyle Ramsey bit of a short pass to Hood into Simons Kyle George can't finish again the boy needs he needs more chances, doesn't he? A bit of encouragement now. Dahoud, ball in. <sighs> now that was a change I just seen with Ball Laser for Doyle. I think that's probably a good shout. Ball Laser on you come, son. And Ramsey, off you come for Bulldog. Right, 10 minutes to go. Shout of fire up. We are attacking. But we don't seem to be attacking much. Right. Sirkin now to Winks. Gives it to Simons. Omi. Out to Bulldog. Borlazer. Back to Bulldog. In. Tollis. Can't quite get it in. Keeper makes a fine save again. Says we've got another change. I say we can't make any more changes, do we? Oh, that would look like a penalty. Omi now. Dahoud. Out to Bulldog. Borlazer. 
Bar laser. Yes, Kyo George. Get in there, my son. Oh, my goodness me. We deserve that. What a goal this is. Bulldog. Out to Bar laser. Bulldog again digs out the cross. And there's Kyo George on the volley. 2 2. Um, encourage. Last few minutes. Come on, boys. The hood is bar laser. Oh, it's gone in! <laughs> oh my god, what a strike that was! Bar laser in right in the stanchion, right in that corner. Oh my goodness me, that is a cracker. Let's come off attacking, let's go balanced. Winks now forward. Kyle George, it's another one. Arno's off. It's off this time. Seconds to go. Come on. Back to Rodak. Forward. Tollis. Blackburn coming forward. But Sirkin is there. But we still got the ball. Winks now. Simons. To Tollis. Back to Sirkin. Winks. Just keep the ball. Kyle George. In fact, what are we doing? What are we doing? Instructions. Blooming time waste. <laughs> time waste, please. I don't know if it'll go through in time. There's not enough time left. Sirkin. Kyle George. Winks. This. Yes. There is the time. The goal. Possibly that he was offside. We're not interested in that. That is a cracking comeback. 20 shots. First time for a long time we've been out possessioned, even though we've got nearly 50 passes more. But Bar Laser, what a goal that was. It was a bit of a let off. We weren't good enough and he stepped up to be better opposition. Yes, everybody, apart from Kyo George. Right, attackers, hang on. Hands on hips. I was very happy with your finishing. Come on. Oh, he's calm. We got Kayo back. Thank goodness for that. Well, that is an unbelievable little roundup. And what a game. One game. Do you need any more than that after that? My goodness me. But like we said, we will play Blackburn up uh, Derby off camera a minute and let you know the result how we got on. Okay, so Derby off camera, like we said, and a handsome 3-1 victory. Bar Laser followed up that cracking goal <laughs> in the previous game. Ida and Teaserless. It's, it's Teaserless. I found out. I've, I've got ways. Cracking win. So, when will we be back? I think what we're going to do, we're probably going to come back for those final three games of the season which will be Wigan, Coventry and Preston to see where we're going to end up because as it stands, we are fifth in the league. Automatic? I think that's too much of an ask, but we've got a big chance. So, boys and girls, if you have enjoyed the episode, please, please, please do get those thumbs up. Comments down below, please. Lots of comments lately. Lots of thumbs up. It's been great for the channel algorithm. Please keep it coming. We do love you here at the Preset channel. And we'd love to have more of you around. Get all your friends on board. See you soon.